Hello, it's Joanna here. Today I want to make an advent wreath from natural materials. So the color palette will also be natural. Green with cream candles. The wreath will not be round, but oblong. I brought green branches from the garden, mostly from coniferous trees. I cut the branches into small parts. Besides two branches, we will need candles, candle holders, a tray, floral foam, water, various decorations, a hot glue gun with sticks. Green floral foam is for live flowers and needs to be soaked in water so the plants can draw water. Grey floral foam is for artificial flowers and plants that are not alive. So. Now I give green soaked foam. I need two foam on my tray. You can cut the foam however you like, so that it fits on your tray. Then I will stick the holders in the places where I want the candles to be. I heat the spikes with a fire so that the candles slide onto them easily. I will shorten the wicks on the candles so they don't smoke. And now we can stick the branches to the foam. I shorten the branches to the required length and gradually stick them all around into the foam. Longer branches at the bottom and shorter ones at the top. I will use different parts of the branches, even if parts of the branches are from the middle of the branch, they will fill the space of the wreath nicely. At the end I will put branches with a different structure. When all the branches are inserted, it strengthens the wall structure. If necessary, I can cut parts of the branches even after I stick them in the foam.
and now I can put some decorations. I will use pine cones, moss, wooden shapes. I decided on stars. I will glue them with hot glue gun. From time to time the foam must be poured. You can carefully pour water from the top. The water will soak into the entire foam. Don't be surprised when you find out that the wall arrangement is heavy. At the end I put battery lights. Now you can see the result. Do you like it? Do you try something like this? Write me in the comments. Thank God that Jesus came to us to save us. And during Advent we can remember this great sacrifice. Jesus didn't just come as a little child at Christmas. But he is the king of heaven and earth and can be alive and real in our lives if we invite him. I wish you a blessed Advent.